Hello everyone, this is Hunter Collector with another action figure review, and here I have the G.I. Joe Classified Series Firefly. So, here is the box for you. So, you get that little symbol that's, or sign that says Cobra Island Special Mission, and you get the G.I. Joe Classified Series logo there with the Firefly. Um, and you get a little box art of Firefly there. Here's the side, the side art of Firefly there. And then here's the back with a picture of Cobra Island. And then here's the side of Cobra symbols here and it is the 21st figure in the wave. Here's the bottom with the CPI. And then here's the top with the number 21 there and then the Cobra symbol. But besides that, let's crack them open. And here's the figure out of the packaging here. So first let's go over his accessories. So first we get his pack back here. It's all black and then you get some silver detailing here. Like there's some knives or uh, not knives, like uh, tweezers, uh, some tools. And you get uh, a little wrench there. And then you get the, like these slots here. You get a little peg here to plug into his back. And then you got this weird piece right here. So yeah, there's the backpack for you. And then, oh yeah, there's this like little piece here um which is this and i'm guessing this is like a remote or something for his I, I don't really know what it is but my guess it's i can't really tell what it's supposed to be for but it looks like all you do um is just plug it in like that there for him if you want to store that back there and then you got uh and then that's how you use that piece um and then you get these goggles right here. So you get that little antenna there with that circle and then you get the red goggles there. So that's pretty cool. It's soft plastic, so that's cool. Nothing really interesting in the inside. So, yep. And then you get this like little TNT detonator thing here, which has that circle there. And it has that slot here, which my guess is for what this piece is. If I take it out here can i there we go just like that and my guess is that you just plug it in somewhere here oh wait i think i know what that piece is in that little slot there is for i think it's supposed to go plug in there somewhere yeah it's supposed to plug in like that to the backpack so there's that and then this just goes in there i don't even know what this is um and then you get this drone right here with that little red eye there. And you get the, like the wings here with the propellers. And you get these like legs here for it. And they move. So you can get, get to go forward that far. And then backwards that far. And then you get it, you could get it to stand. So like that. And then yeah. Uh, so there's those. And you get this like little gun which I think we've seen before, but I don't know. And you get a little peg here to put it on somewhere. I think you could put on, yeah. You could put it on his backpack if you want. Just like that. So yeah, there's his backpack all fold up. Um, but yeah. And then here's the figure itself here. So here's the face for you. So it looks, it's all scarred up underneath the mask here. You get that camouflage sighting there. You get that texturing like a mask here. So it's like a very cloth-like side there. And then it's like like sports fabric type of thing here. You get the green eyes. He looks really crazy. Um, so yeah, there's that. And you get these like ear pieces on the mask here. And then you got this giant bulky vest on him. So you get like these little pouches for his magazines, for his blaster. It's a really shiny plastic and soft plastic, so that's nice. I don't know if you could take it off or not. And you get this like little butt pad here. You get this like little nut pad here. <laughs> you get the belt here. You get more of these like little black detailing here for the straps. And then you get these like, uh, this like little thing on the shoulder uh, that holds like grenades. And then you get this cool little design for sleeves here. Nice gray and white camouflage. And then you get this like little extra piece here that's kind of like padding. And you get this pouch on the shoulder. 
And then you get this like little shoulder pad here with the Cobra symbol surrounded with black there. And this is connected to the vest. And then you also get that pouch underneath there. And then you get two gun holding hands. So that's cool. And then the pants have that same camouflage down the side here. You get these like little extra uh, design pieces here. You get that knee pad with the gray, sh uh, gray uh, straps around it. Uh, and then you get these boots are really dark gray. I like the, uh, the texturing or sculpt for this boot. So that's cool. And then here's the back for you. But yeah, let's go over the articulation here. So his head can hinge down just that far. The, the vest kind of gets in the way there. Up that far, same deal. You can look left and right. A little hip pivoting. His shoulders can move out that far. He has 360 rotation around the shoulder there. Bicep swivel, uh, butterfly joint there. Uh, he has double jointed elbows. Uh, his wrist can hinge down. Oh wait, no, not not down that way. Uh, they go. Do they go side to side? Yeah, they go side to side. So they go down that far, up that far. 360 rotation around there. I I think he has a ab crunch, but you can't really do that with the vest here. But he does have like a hip pivot on a ball joint there. So you get it, he goes side to side a little bit, forward just a little bit there, backwards a little bit too. So not a whole lot of movement there. Um, he has drop hit and drop down hips, so you can see that shift there. So without the drop hips, or this is with drop hips, I guess. So you give him to do like the splits here. Just like that, perfectly. Uh, so you can go kick forward really far and then backwards just a little bit. He has thigh cut, double jointed knees. If I could get that other joint to go. There we go. So basically almost a butt kick. He has a boot cut there, ankle scan down that far, up that far, and nice ankle pivot. And then to put on the goggles and stuff like that. So just like this. Slide on like that. And I plug this in on his back here. Right in that hole. And then boom. So yeah, I think this is a pretty cool figure. I like it a lot. The only problem that I have is like the ab crunch movement. And then I think the proportion of the vest is a little too much. Like it's way too big for him. But I guess that's what it would look like if you were wearing basically like a juggernaut vest without any other padding around your legs or arms. So I guess that's what you, you would look like, kind of. I like all the accessories that it comes with, like the, like the TNT bomb, and then you get the drone here. I wish there was like some way that you could get stay up, I mean, like make it look like it's flying or something. That would be nice, so to have like a little display thing for it. But besides that, I like the I like the figure a lot. I like the detailing. I like the sculpt and everything like that. So besides that, that's all I got.